Are you thinking about moving to Escondido, California? Because in this video, I'm going to show you guys around Escondido, California, and I'm going to take you guys around some different neighborhoods, some different houses, and in different price points so you guys may know what may fall within your guys' budget. And if you guys stick around until the end, I'm going to share a market recap of the current real estate market here in Escondido, California. So let's get after it right now. first time to this channel you want to know everything that there is about living eating breathing playing in Escondido California then subscribe below tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to know about the current market here in Escondido California my name is Jonathan the team and I we get calls and emails every single day from people just like you looking to make their move you guys we absolutely love it so whether you guys are moving in nine days or 90 days give us a call shoot us a text send us an email or schedule a zoom one-on-one -on -one so we can help you make that smooth move to Escondido, California. So we're currently walking right now in the Desco uh, downtown Escondido district area. They got a lot of things going on around here. A lot of stores, breweries, restaurants. They got some uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu over here. I'm right here at a, at a brewery. My stop by, it's a cool little place. You got some lounges, escape rooms. You got a whole lot of stuff going on in this like one mile to one and a half mile radius. There's just so many things going on and it's really rad. It's very historic. So Escondido, it is one of San Diego's oldest cities. It was incorporated back in like 1888. So it does have a lot of culture. Escondido in general is a very uh, multicultured, very diverse area. Population here is a little over 150,000 people, which is pretty cool, you know, to kind of be in a, in an area that, that does host all those people and it's very diverse and they have a lot to offer. Uh, they are home to the San Diego Safari Park as well. So there is the San Diego Zoo in, in kind of downtown uh, San Diego, not downtown, around downtown, but then there's a San Diego Safari Park, which is really rad, it's really cool. It's a great place to go. If you've never been there, you need to stop by, check it out. And so they do host some other things. They have some amazing trails some awesome views in kind of the foothills of Escondido. Again, it's just a very diverse uh, suburb of San Diego. Now you guys, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys around some different houses and different price points. So I'm gonna show you guys what a house is, uh, looks like around the high 600s, you know, mid 700s, and even $1 million. So let's get onto the first house right now. So here we are, we're at the first home of the day. So this house right behind me is currently listed for sale for $680,000. It is a three bedroom, one and a half baths. It does have 1,059 square feet, you guys. And it was built in 1962. So yes, this house is a little bit older. Like I stated a little bit before, Escondido in general is one of San Diego's oldest cities. So you guys can kind of understand that. Now, as small as this house might be, you know, a thousand square feet, it's really the lot that you guys are really gonna pay attention to this house. It's over a quarter of an acre, bunch of fruit trees, avocado trees in the backyard. They have a little bit right here too. But now this, this specific house, you guys can kind of see we're kind of at the end of a cul-de-sac it's a really hidden street and it's really cool because you're close to all the convenience stores grocery stores literally within a five minute drive you can get like pretty much any fast food if you wanted to go to target you know bigger uh convenience store or grocery store or, you know supermarket that's maybe an eight minute drive from here it's not too far um, nothing really is too far here in, San, in Escondido just because it's heavily populated. They got a lot of stuff going on and they make it very convenient for the residents of Escondido to just get it just about anywhere. So now the schools, you guys, uh, I want to say the schools in Escondido, by any means, they're not like top of the notch. They're all pretty much average. So the elementary school here in this specific area is rated a 4 out of 10, while the middle school is also rated a 4 out of 10 and the high school is rated a seven out of 10. So the high school stands out just a little bit compared to the middle school and the elementary school. But again, you guys, they're not like below average or top of the notch. They're just right in the middle. So that is what $680,000 can get you 
in Escondido, California on to the second home. So here we are, we're at the second home. So this home right behind me is currently listed for sale for $775,000. It is a four bedroom, three baths. It does have 1,829 square feet. It was built in 1963. So yes, it is a little bit of an older home. Again, Escondido in general is just a, you know, it's San Diego's, one of San Diego's oldest cities. So you guys can kind of understand why the houses are a little bit older. Still very well maintained. Now this house, it's completely remodeled from head to toe. So the inside looks phenomenal. I know the outside, you can kind of see all that red mulch going on on it, but hey, you know, the curb appeal here in these areas, there's no HOA, there's no regulation. So, you know, it's kind of, um, the ba the basic cosmetic aesthetically it's not as pleasing a lot of the residents do tend to go with mulch or some type of little river rock or gravel or something of that nature because of, of, of water con conservation and because it does it can get a little bit warm out here now in this specific neighborhood the schools you guys we have the elementary that's rated a four out of ten the middle school is also rated a four out of ten and the high school is rated a five out of ten so the schools here you guys by any means are not the greatest again they're pretty much average and that's pretty much throughout all escondido in general obviously there's some neighborhoods that are a little bit different but majority of escondido again is going to be average rated school now this area you're not too far from downtown where we kind of showed you guys in the intro you're about a 10 minute drive from downtown so that's pretty cool and you're not too far from com com convenience stores and grocery stores one cool thing about this specific area is <laughs> you're surrounded by the mountains so right over these houses here you guys have the mountains right here in the back where you guys can go out there you can go hike and get some amazing views so that's what seven hundred and seventy five thousand dollars can get you in escondido california on to the last so here we are we're at the final home of the day so this house right behind me is currently listed for sale for one million dollars it is a four bedroom three baths it does have 2550 square feet and it was built in 2006 so it is a lot newer than the first two homes now what i want to say about this house is really its location you guys check that out the location of this property you sit right on a hill and you get amazing views now i'm not just talking about the location in regarding to the view right across the street right up here as soon as i go down the hill to the left you have a shopping plaza that has barnes and nobles michaels restaurants other little knickknack stores that you guys can go there for days also we're literally five minutes from central escondido where we were at in downtown earlier in this video it's literally a five minute drive you want to go to the plaza it's a five minute walk the rail station is right there right next to that plaza as well so it's a, just a really great location because you're around everything so that's really really cool not just that you guys are in an amazing little neighborhood with some cool amazing houses and so that right there you guys is what one million dollars can get you guys here in escondido before we go to a market recap let me finish off with the schools so just like the first house you have the elementary school that's rated a four out of ten the middle school is rated a four out of ten and the high school is rated a seven out of ten so again by any means they're not the best they're not the worst they're just average rated schools now you guys what we're going to do is we're going to head to a local coffee shop that i personally love and enjoy it's called coffee here in escondido and we're going to do a, a little market recap of kind of what we kind of went over and just kind of give you an overview of Escondido so let's get after that right now all right guys so market recap time I'm out here at a local coffee shop called coffee in Escondido California they got some really good specialty drinks here really strong they got me all wired up for the end of the day but I hope you guys now understand what you know again 600 700 and even up to 1 million dollars can get you guys here in Escondido California I hope this was useful to you guys again you know by any means or the schools are they're not the best here in escondido california it's it's one of those things that the education you know they're still trying to continue to improve but it's it's not the worst they're pretty much average schools all around uh you guys can kind of see the communities and the neighborhoods they're really well taken care of they're really awesome 
They've got a lot of stuff going on, especially around that downtown community area where I'm currently at, where I just came back, where I was walking from over there, showing you guys the intro. And so again, it's just a really nice area to go. Kind of a hidden gym here in San Diego, hence the name Escondido. You know, it's really hidden out here in that northeastern part of the San Diego County. So it's really cool. But at any rate, you guys, Escondido, I, in my personal opinion, it's just a great place to live. I give them a, a, a thumbs up. If I was to rate Escondido out of a 10, they're probably gonna get it in an eight. Just because the diversity's there, there's so much to do, there's varieties of options and the opportunities here are endless. And so thank you guys for watching, living in South California.